professional record of 100 big Professionally in his 19th year now. Shake hands now, come out boxing at the bell. Good luck. The great Julio Cesar Chavez tuning up. He plans to go to Colorado to train for his rematch with Oscar De La Hoya. Wants to go up into the mountains in the high altitude and work up in Aspen. And Cigarani, one loss, was a first round knockout. April of 97, Antonio Rivera stopped him. And Sam, you had mentioned that this is a tune-up for the Chavez. I hate that word, tune-up. I know you do. I've been training fighters for a lot of years, and uh, no matter who you fight, you worry about it. And this kid has a pretty good record. Only lost once, won 23 fights, and he's young and he's ambitious and a busy fighter. He may not be the biggest puncher, but he's a busy fighter, and that could be the kind of guy that could bother a Julio Cesar Chavez. Especially a guy that has a bounty on his head in the that, sense with the right. bonus for Chavez that Sigurani acutely aware of. The big bonus for Chavez if he knocks Sigurani out, so that steps him up a notch too. Two hundred fifty thousand dollar bonus for Julio Cesar Chavez if he knocks out Ken Sigurani. Sigurani already received the bonus by allowing Chavez to come in at one fifty one, or actually one fifty and three quarters. Good right hand by Chavez. Sigurani is going to have to get Chavez respect early. He's going to have to nail him with a couple of solid punches, or Chavez is just going to walk right through him. Chavez is excellent, coming straight ahead, doing his damage, especially working the body. And Sigurani needs those right hands to the head to discourage Chavez from that stalking style. 105th professional bout for. Chavez, who pointed to the head and cautioned Sigurani about butting. Quick, flashy combination by Sigurani. He's got fast hands. Not a big puncher. With the left hook by Chavez, and up and down. This would be the time for Chavez to nail Sigurani, because I'm sure he's tight as a drum. Let him get past the second or third round, it'll be a little different. Ronnie said initially he was in awe of the prospect of fighting Chavez. Then he realized, hey, you know, he trains the way I do. He does everything the same. And so now he just came in ready to fight. And if he does get past those first two rounds, it would be a different situation for him. He's been fighting like a little bit in awe of Chavez early. Sigurani. Nothing on them, though, Sam. They're like range finders. But you know what? He hasn't shown any nervousness, Gil. I thought he handled himself pretty well in that round. As we move into the corner of Julio Cesar Chavez, okay. our, hero, our ring announcer will interpret. You need to manage your, your hands a little bit more on the inside, specifically. What you need to do is to use your left hand. If you get a chance, stay on the inside on him very quickly. As soon as he gives you a chance, just go inside on him. Vivo, Stay alive. Thank you, Mark. We're at the Foxwoods Resort and Casino in Mashantucket, Connecticut. Up in the woods. It's beautiful up here. Pequot Paradise, right, Dave? That's right, Sam. We <laughs> talked about that. <laughs> round two. What are your thoughts, Gil, about uh, Chavez in the first round? Well, he was a little slow in the first round, this Sam. Combination. Sigurani threw more punches than Chavez in the first round. And Chavez, not traditionally a very quick starter. 15 of 32 in that round. Sigurani, 28 of 86. So he had punches going out there. Good combination by Chavez. 
Nice pass. Hands with that combination. Chavez picking off the jabs. Good right hand by Chavez. And left hook. And look at the knees. They didn't wobble, Sam. So the took a pretty good punch then. Chavez got everything into it. The jab and then the perfect leverage to power with their right hand. said he made a big mistake going into the De La Hoya fight with a, a cut that hadn't properly healed. And that cut got opened up by De La Hoya and led to the end of the bout. And right here, he gets cut and is very upset. That should lead to a lot of urgency by Chavez. And Sigalani's landing a lot of punches now. Yes, he is. No matter how it occurs, the sight of blood is a great motivator. Gets that adrenaline flowing. Sigarani chopped the left hand in there three, four times. Chavez still looking for some help from the referee. He wants the ref to call it as far as the blood. It would affect things here. Oh, the blood is coming down heavily. That's ugly. From the eyebrow, the right eyebrow of Julio Cesar Chavez. was butted by Sigarani. Key thing is it has to be called. Very big decision coming up by Arthur McCanny. He has to rule it that way. End of round two. And now Chavez upset looking to the referee and waving to ringside. Now the work on the cut. It was a headbutt, I'm telling you. Miguel told him, don't worry about it, just be calm. It doesn't look as bad as it is. Or Kenny is just saying in English that it's not a hit butt. Here's what happened. Take a look. Heads coming together. Oh, yeah. That's a clash. And we have not seen it ruled that way by Arthur Mercanti no. yet. And that is critical. And Mercanti said it was not a hit butt. No. Apparently he didn't see the headbutt. Not and at all. That is a very, very big decision because if this fight were stopped early, you don't have a headbutt rule if it's not called. That's right. We are set for round three. Chavez late coming out of the corner. Looks like he's calmed down. He was very upset in the corner. And you know, after he was cut, Sam, Sigalani landed some pretty solid punches. It wasn't that uh, he took over, Chavez. He tried to take over, but uh, Sigurani stayed with him. And Sigurani has the higher number of punches landed. He's certainly holding his own. And no matter how you get that blood to flow from your opponent, head or jab or whatever, it does take you up another level. And Sigurani, he's the perfect guy to, to take that. He has. As Mark Firo interpreted, uh, the corner of Chavez told him to be calm. Now, the bleeding has been stopped to this point. Looked like Sigarani was trying to open that cut up with a couple of punches. Sigarani took a chance with the right hand that time. He's not showing uh, Chavez too much respect. No, anymore. not at all. Now, if you're Sigarani, this is a window of opportunity here. How much can you parlay what happened in the last round? And this is a critical stage of the fight. And he's staying nice and calm, Sigarani. Up. 
Gil, would a loss by Chavez in this fight jeopardize the rematch with De La Hoya? Absolutely. No question about it. And again. Chavez was upset with what he thought was a low blow. He's also bleeding from the nose now, Chavez. Oh, boy. Right hand, solid. And that rock. Cigarati's hurt. Cigarati on wobbly legs. Chavez opening up. Cigarati goes down. Two, three. Oh, man. It's over. It is over. Just like that. You can see how upset Chavez still is about the butt because that's got to be stitched up and that will take time to heal. Yeah, it could jeopardize the timing of the fight, but even more significantly, it jeopardized the existence of that fight because of what it was doing for Cigarani, and it could have been called off based on that blood, so he turned it around and showed his true mettle. I don't think that the cut will have any effect on a fight September 18th. This is only June. It's three months, three months away. They'll take it to a good, uh, a good specialist and stitch that thing up. It'll be better in three weeks. Really? So he'll have enough time to train, let it heal, and Absol then train? Absolutely, yes. Big point. It, it just could have jeopardized it. It ruined the fight itself, and Chavez was able to turn it around on that. Julio Cesar Chavez gets the bonus. The $250,000 bonus is his as he scores the knockout in the third round. And no doubt, boy, did he get his anger going, Gil. Went firstly, but, and then I think he felt there was a low blow in that third round. He was getting hit with a lot of punches. Yeah. Keep your head high. See the cut over the right eye of Julio Cesar Chavez. Here's the knockdown, Gil. Okay, there's that left hook, right hand. That straight right hand was the one over here. There's another straight right hand. The right hand was the one, the damaging blows in that exchange, and Chavez's best punch is his left hook. There's a one right hand. Has him wobbling pretty good now. Another right hand. And another right hand. Three solid right hands, basically, but four right hands basically did the job. Cigarani was almost out on his feet when he backed into the corner. And then Chavez finished strong. Big finish for Julio Cesar Chavez. And let's get the official announcement from Mark Biro. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, two minutes. Nine seconds of the third round. The winner by technical knockout, el gran campeón del mundo, Julio Cesar Chavez. Chavez.